So in today's workshop, um, I'm going to very briefly cover a very simple concept, how to sketch any graph. I split it up into different points. So the first thing is you don't worry too much about dilation. So that's the blue thing right there, the three. And then you just find the turning point. Very simple, would be two, six. And then you check for reflections, no reflections in this, so we draw in our parabola. And then with this one, same deal. Um, we don't worry about the dilation, the half. We chuck in the turning point, so it'd be negative two, 4.5, put that in. And we know it's a parabola, but because there's a negative in front, it's gonna be upside down, so we chuck that in as well. And the cool thing about this is it works with pretty much any other function, right? So if you've got y equals x squared, our parabola, or a cubic, or a square root graph, or a hyperbola, or a truncus, all of these work the same way. In fact, every graph works exactly the same way. So here's y equals x to the power of half. If you've got y equals x minus two to the power of half plus two, well, you move it on over by two, and then move it up by two as well. And that right there becomes the turning point. Same deal with a hyperbola. You move it on over by two, move it up by two, and that will be the middle of the graph. And also the same deal with the truncus as well. So we've got y equals x minus four to the power of negative two plus four. Well, we'd move it on over by four and then move it up by four as well. Um, when x is an even power, you've got y equals x squared, basically a parabola, y equals x to the power of four, basically a parabola, but made a little bit more square. It's pulled down on the x-axis. Or y equals x to the power of eight, same deal, it's pulled even further down. So even if you've got something like y equals x to the power of 256, well, what it end up looking like, it's basically just a very square parabola. And it's the same deal with your odd powers as well. So you've got when x has an odd power, you can have y equals x to the power of three, cubic, right? y equals x to the power of five, cubic, but a little bit squarer. And y equals x to the power of nine, it's an even squarer cubic. So whenever you look at the powers, the power tells you the shape, and the way you sketch it is all the same, no matter what graph it is. If I was going to sketch them, very simple, turning point, there's a negative three, two, so that'd be three, two, chuck that in. Check out the type of graph, it's a parabola, so I just draw that in, not worrying about the dilation too much. Here I've got y equals two x plus five to the power of six plus two, I think that is. So that's negative five, two. And then because it's to the power of six, basically a parabola, and chuck that in. Here we've got a cubic where the turning point would be negative three, negative one, and just chuck in the cubic shape. And here we've got a turning point of five, negative seven. We put that in, and that's basically a cubic as well. So no matter what graph it is, moving around is all the same.